wallpapering a steam engine, yes, with Solvite, the adhesive for heavier and washable papers and vinyl. Didn't see it there, it's me, Thomas Edward, also known as T.E. And uh, I'm just come out on this uh, very windy uh, Thursday night on the Cumbrian coast to watch uh, a Black 5 come down. I think it's Black 5, 5212, I think. I think that's the number. Maybe maybe someone I know might be firing, who knows? But uh, we'll come down to film here. I've got double camera set up. We've got DJI for low light with a, a muff on it. That's what we filmed uh, Atroria with the other week. And I've got my cannon with the light and what's lighting me up now. Uh, so we come down, we might, we're going to go along the beach a bit and get it on the sea wall. Uh, because we want to try and look at, for the signal. So when the signal goes, uh, goes up, we can uh, see it's on its way down. So we're going, to climb, we're going to get down there and get on the sea wall and uh, see what we can see with tea or see what we can film well, and make it into a half decent video. I've just seen someone in, um, in part and... Uh, film it coming down the coast a few hours ago and uh, we'll have to turn the light off in a minute because I think there's a, a 156 coming so we'll go into the stealth of darkness it's coming I can hear it in the background we're, a bit, we're running a bit late and that's running a bit early so we've got to get up here and film it, I think I'm crafting. So much for filming it on the sea wall. Coming. Oh, look at that. That's pretty good. Oh, didn't see it come in there. I'm just uh, watching the footage of the cameraman filmed of uh, the Black Five tonight, uh, 45212, coming through Grange Sands. 
going like going like the clappers because no restriction for Granger at, well, at the moment, so they can really hammer it through. And I think he was, I think his fireman was uh, giving him a load of coal because his firebox door was open and he could see all the flames and the, and the steam above the cab. And uh, we went to film this tonight because uh, I'll just put this down. We went to film it tonight because we wanted to do a special TE factual interlude video. It's not just any train bashing video. This is we're going to give you. We're going to you're going to have an every day is a learning day with TE. That's what's happening right now. Uh, 45212 is an interesting local from back in back in the days when steam was on the network in Britain. And I should say the very last days of steam in Britain, probably a bit before then, it didn't it wasn't really as famous as it is since then with the, what happened. So it 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 was timetabled one of the second to last passenger trains in Britain, what was official timetable. It wasn't like on the last day when they did all the, the specials of the, the you know the last day of steam. It was a it's like when you're at school and you have your last full day at school and then the, the then the very last day you, you don't do any work at all. That was pretty much what happened. So it, it took a train to Blackpool South. Uh, and when it got to Blackpool South, uh, Bob Barker and uh, Ray Duckworth, who was the fireman, and Bob uh, Bob Barker was the was the driver. They got to Blackpool South and had a bit of show business because there's loads of young bashes there, uh, enthusiasts, train enthusiasts who uh, went all ran over to the cab and got those autographs, you know, because it was like the second to last official passenger engine so I was coming to Blackpool South, well probably it was the last one to come in Blackpool at that point. And um, he got all autographs and I think they got a load of coal out the tender and chucked it to our young enthusiasts. So we had a bit of show business. Then it went back to Preston and sat at the north end of Preston heating some uh, sleeper carriages. And then on the very last day, so the 4th of August 1968, when all the steam specials were running and I should say and the main majority of engines on the last day of steam came out of Lost Stock Oil, uh, shed number 10D, where I've actually done a video of it looking at the original remains of the engine shed at Lost Stock Oil, what you can uh, see here, I've put the picture of my thumbnail up. This engine came out of there. Um, so on the last uh, um, day of when they did all the, the steam specials and all that, this engine actually didn't do any specials. It ended up going around Preston doing shunting duties and no one ever knew it did this until it had the reports and pictures, photo evidence of it in like 3pm 3, 3 in the afternoon of it doing shunting around Preston when all the other engines were out doing specials you know, on the 4th of August. So this was actually on the, the, the last day of when they did specials of proper last day of steam, this was actually working you know, for its uh, living, so to speak, and not doing specials. So it's, technically it's probably the last working engine on the network doing shunting duties. Then it didn't go into like Barry's Scrapyard in Wales. It ended up getting chucked, well, some guy, uh, um, Ron Ainsworth, saved it and uh, put it straight into a, a, preser a preservation. And it went to Keith Leanworth Valley Railway, um, and it, I think it's lived there ever since, pretty much. And it, it, a year later, in 1969, as the title suggests in this video, the wallpaper... I don't know what the title will be as I'm saying this, but it's the wallpaper steam engine. Um, uh, it, 69, it, it, it starred in a very early uh, Solvite uh, advert where they stuck loads of almost like Wall, a wallpaper to it, but it looked like Christmas paper to me, but it's wallpaper and it got a load of decorators in to plaster it and you know, stick it on and it was to prove that they could stick wallpaper to a red hot engine and run it in water and everything and get it really hot and run it and uh, that's what it did and that's, there's quite a few pictures of it about and that's what this video is about because there are, not many people talk about the wallpapered engine what now is doing like steam specials down the Cumbrian coast but all those years ago it had an interesting last few days in British Rail and then interesting days in its first year of being preserved and now now it's on the network for all of us to see like I've got on here filmed and then um, but I'm going to show you before I before I sign off the video of the wallpaper uh, advert you know the Solvite advert what's uh, a few about a minute long so here it is Wallpapering a steam engine, yes, with Solvite, the adhesive for heavier and washable papers and vinyls. Solvite gives you time to paper perfectly, to work round a firebox or a fireplace, 
Then it sticks. We heated it. We soaked it. We steamed it. We proved in far worse than kitchen and bathroom work that come what may, Solvite sticks. For heavier and washable papers and vinyls, you need Solvite. So there you go. Now, what did you think to that? Oh, get, no, oh, they plastered it on. It's a great proper old school advert. They wouldn't do that now. It'd be all done on, what is it, is it what, when you do a, a, a computer aided sort of uh, cartoon. And back then they actually got a real engine, real men, real, real products and tested it out and then ran it on passenger trains up and down the line. They wouldn't do that now. It'd be all cartoon. Um, so uh, that was pretty good, that. It's not as... Not many people will know that. Some will, I bet Leslie Gilpin knows, but not many people will know on the, watching the TE channel. So if you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you give us a like, a subscribe, a comment below. I always like comments. The more comments, the more happy TE is. And if you would like to support these adventures with a bit of nose bag or a bit of fuel money getting out there, Patreon's below. And uh, we make sure to uh, click that big bell. Ding!